Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to my homestead. Well, guys, I got 12 trees in here that I have purchased from Grower Solution. These are fruit trees, and I decided not to plant them in the ground right now because we're going through some extreme weather right now. We're going to be in the 20, uh, in the 20s, uh, low 20s tonight, and so the ground's going to freeze, and these trees were sent in in a box. Um, let me show you this box. So they came into a long, a long tall box. And this is the thing is that because of that, of course, you know, there's not going to be dirt around the roots. So I don't want to shock them any more than they are right now. They look actually absolutely beautiful as far as tree wise and everything. But I went to Walmart and I got me some of these buckets for like less than three bucks. And what I do is I took my drill and I'm drilling six holes into the bottom of it. So I have drainage. Now this is not a permanent location for these trees. This is going to give me some time, you know, uh, with these trees to, when I decide to plant them. Now they will not be planted on this property. So they're going to another location, which means I need to go ahead and get these uh, into some dirt to sustain them. So. So I'm drilling six holes in the bottom of this bucket. And that's going to give me some drainage. Now you might wonder why am I doing this inside the house? Because it's been extremely cold outside. We actually had snow here onto the east coast, which does not happen. I happened to be up about uh, about 4.30 this morning and looked outside and it just started coming down like a blizzard. So, uh, but this, you know, now it's got my, my holes in it and I've already planted these, of course, into these pots right here. Well, you can call them pots, these buckets. And later on, I can still continue to use these buckets for, you know, grow, you know, I can probably put some potatoes in this or whatever, but these make perfect uh, planters, they're cheap. I went to Walmart and look around and see if I can find some, you know, some, uh, some kind of uh, plant that, you know, planter to put these trees into. And uh, I couldn't really find any. All I could find is little ones. So now what I did, since I'm planting on the inside, I have a piece of cardboard down here. I'm warm in here. These trees are going to go back out. Uh, they're not going to be in the frost tonight but they're going to be protected a little bit, but I need them out of this heat. So I've got a piece of uh, cardboard right here. I also took uh, this piece of cardboard. It ha actually helps to catch this uh, soil here. I went to Walmart, got this bag of soil, and all I'm going to do is you know, start filling it up. And my last tree that I got to plant, is a gala apple. Now these trees, I was really, really happy with them. Now they have a special going on uh, for so many trees. I think I thought it was five trees, but I ended up with six. And uh, they used to sort of tell you what kind of trees you're going to get. But I got a, a little bit different, pretty much basically like they said. But then there was added uh, different ones in there, which I was very happy with, like a pecan tree. I, you know. I have a pecan tree on the other property, but this is great to have another one. So, for the price, it was $49.99 at Grower Solution. This bag is about full. I'm not going to pick it up. I'm taking a chance of missing this bucket right here. So, pretty much all I'm going to do is be putting this soil in, in here. And I am using this potting mix. And uh, let's see, especially for indoor and outdoor containers. And it also feeds up to six months, which these plants will not be in these containers for six months. But if you're looking for a cheap way to get you some pots, get you some buckets, drill a hole in it for three bucks, 
you've got plenty of room, and on top of that, it's got the handle so you can carry it. So this right here is an apple tree, the gala apple tree, and so when it, I took it out of the box, all of them was wrapped up in plastic and then ceram wrap in newspaper. This keeps the air from, you know, getting to the roots. It preserves the, helps preserve the tree, keeps it from being shocked anymore. So they really was wrapped up real nice. I was very impressed. Will I order again? Absolutely. Absolutely. But like I said, they have a special uh, sort of trees for $49.99. So I purchased my first order and then I decided to go back and purchase some more. Because you can't get six trees this size at Lowe's for $49. So I'm taking it out of plastic. It's wrapped in ceram wrap. Protect those roots. I can find the somewhere. I'm sure I'm wrapping it. Now saran wrap is. There we go. Well, here we go. There's the newspaper. Some of this newspaper I just uh so I just throw it away. It's damp. It comes in damp. I'm just gonna actually Throw it in one of these buckets right there, and uh, it'll start deteriorating on, on top of that. It's going to hold some moisture in there. So, the root's got a very good root system to it. This is a gala apple. So, I'm going to, I'm looking at see if they've got the tap root. So, I'm just looking at the roots right a second. Well, like I said, they're not going to be here permanently, but I do like to put them in here and try to spread those roots out in each tree. Spread them out as much as I can, like they're kind of being planted permanently into these buckets. Now, you can grow fruit trees into containers. You just want to make sure you have a big enough container for the tree. And, uh, and then you can prune it back as it grows which fruit trees need to be pruned back anyhow. It just don't need to be growing every which way. It's best for them to kind of be pruned back. So, I'm going to put a little bit more soil in here. One more. And then, I'm just going to, just like you're planting into the ground, kind of pat that dirt down, kind of give it stability. That one's done. So what kind of fruit trees do I have? This is the Gala Apple. What came in with uh, two orders. Six trees apiece. This is for cinnamon. This is the Blue Damien Plum. There's actually moon glow pears back there, and I've got five of those trees. One tree could do... Uh, Produce a whole lot of fruit. So, this is another Gala apple. This is a pecan tree, a Bella. This is a Bella peach. And this one is a Damien, blue Damien plum. So, I got two blue Damien plums, which is perfect. I'm, I'm really excited about that. I got two apple trees as though. Be, be some good pollinating right there. Got five pear trees and uh, this persimmon. I think it was persimmon. Sorry, right, yeah, persimmon. And so, guys, now I'm just going to take these trees and set them on the actual set them on the front porch. Try to keep the frost on. I was thinking about putting them in, out there into the shed. I'll probably eventually move them out there, but. Uh, but yeah, I want to. I don't want them in here. This fire uh, wood stove is going here. I don't want to stay in here very long. So if you're interested in purchasing any trees, now is the time at Grower Solution for forty nine ninety nine. I think it was. Or uh, just get any kind of products that you need from Grower Solution. I've been satisfied with them. I've got a greenhouse, and so I'm happy with that. So everything I've I've got some seeds from them. Um, so I've been really happy with Grower Solution. Okay, guys. 
Uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buckets. I planted those pear trees together because uh, it just made sense because they're not permanently staying in there. Walmart buckets, three bucks. Grower Solution trees, six trees for forty nine dollars. Potting soil at Walmart for ten bucks. Pretty cheap for our future growing. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and remember to make it a great day. I am making it a great day and a great future. All right, guys, thank you so much.